This year's East Outreach Program is our fifth annual event that we've been able to sponsor in conjunction with our annual scientific assembly. The reason why this year is so special is because it is by far our biggest and best event yet. We've reached out to Thomas Jefferson High School in San Antonio because it's a large public school population of approximately 1,800 students that identifies at-risk youth in our community. When it comes to issues of distracted driving, vehicle safety, violence in teens, and substance abuse, this is when we have the opportunity as a group to reach out to these students and affect behaviors that could impact them for the rest of their lives. We have three main platforms that we're trying to encompass. The the first of those platforms is about distracted driving and vehicular safety, where the students learn how to be a driver, but more importantly, a passenger and a pedestrian in safe ways. The second component is dealing with violence. Teen violence is on the rise. There's issues in the news every day about events that are happening. If we can teach students how to stand down and de-escalate the situation, we can prevent violence from happening. The third segment of our program is based on substance abuse. If they learn that combining substance abuse with vehicle safety can prevent and save lives, that's the goal of today. Part of the, our outreach effort is a true community partnership. So we bring law enforcement, fire rescue, trauma systems together with these high school students who may have only had unpleasant interactions with one component of that system before. So by showing another side, showing a personal side, showing that we as police officers, as firefighters, as trauma teams care about each of these young students and to give them some positive interaction with us, we hope that it changes the way that they might view law enforcement when they get out. What makes this program so impactful is the team of doctors and nurses and injury prevention specialists throughout the organization coming together and working in partnership with the schools, the teachers, the principals, and the administrators to deliver a one-in-a-lifetime, one-of-a-kind type program. The students get a chance to learn firsthand from experts who take care of these kind of problems related to injury, to drug abuse, to distracted driving, to violence related injury on a regular basis and they get a chance to ask questions. As uh, youth come into their own, they still lack the experience that comes with age. So to put them in the situation uh, while keeping them in a safe environment I think is helpful. This age group is really feels that they're infallible and nothing can really happen to them. And I think that's why it's important to have the survivors part of what we're doing today because they can really show, you know, I was in your shoes and didn't think that this could happen to me. And whether through their own actions or the actions of someone else, they can really see the consequence of choosing to drink and drive. They can see that there's somebody who has lost a limb um, who has had to relearn how to walk, uh, has had to, to face significant financial challenges. And so just bringing in that component I think is really, really important. I came here to spread a message that I think is really important. It's the fact that I was in an accident because I trusted somebody that I shouldn't have. I had seen them with some alcohol, but not enough that I thought, okay, he's impaired. He showed no signs. And so I ended up getting in the car and it completely changed my life. I'm no longer the person I was before anymore because I've had to learn so many things and I have so many emotional and physical consequences from that action that I really hope that I can spread that message so that other kids can avoid making my mistake again. There's so much that you can avoid and so much that you can learn from this. That, you know, don't text and drive, don't drink and drive, just you know, it's, it's not worth it. You should be focused on the road if you're gonna be in a car because odds are people around you are doing the things that you shouldn't be doing and you can't change that. What impacted me the most today of this show was um, the importance of learning not to text and drive, keep both eyes on the road and basically for me to change my ways when I'm driving. There's a lot of distractions on the road like your passengers, your phone, music, anything around. Anything that I would change or do differently would probably stay off my phone and ignore all distractions. What I didn't know before today would be the drug goggles because like I always thought it would just be like more of like a blurry like like visual but it is completely disorienting. Um, some changes I'd like to make are 
really notice the distractions that are that go on in my everyday life that I can change myself. My changes that I would make differently after today would be to drive with more caution, use my seatbelt, um, be aware of my surroundings and the people too. Your Life, Your Choice was chosen as our slogan this year by a team of medical professionals that's continuously working with at-risk populations, including teenagers, and we've learned that if every student understands that the decisions that they're making for themselves and those around them are the right decisions, then they have the chance to make it through for a happy and successful life. Your Life, Your Choice means uh, empowering the students by educating them so that they can make the right choices for themselves. The reason why Your Life, Your Choice is an important message to get across in injury prevention is because these are young adults and they're coming into their own and they're trying to make their own decisions. And so to give them uh, the tools to make those right decisions is sometimes better than saying you should do one thing. The point behind Your Life, Your Choice is to make sure that these kids understand that they do have choices in the matter. Uh, a lot of things that they decide on will affect the rest of their lives. And it may just be the minor choice, you know, what to do after the party. How do I get home? These are the choices that we want them to think about beforehand, before it becomes a big issue. What we consider minor decisions can wind up having very, very significant outcomes. Your Life, Your Choice is really an opportunity for us to talk to the students here at Thomas Jefferson High School about the importance of them being uh, responsible for the choices that they're making and that, you know, in the heat of the moment you might make a decision, but you have to remember that all decisions can have consequences. So this is really a time for us to have a conversation with students about the dangers of using alcohol and drugs, about the importance of using a seatbelt when you're in a vehicle, about the importance of not getting in a vehicle with a drunk driver, and making sure that they're not distracted when they choose to drive. And we want them to start making good choices so that they can keep themselves safe and healthy, not just for, themse for themselves, but for their family and for their friends and loved ones. Your life, your choice would have to mean uh, kind of what it sounds like. It's, it's your life and your life is made up of the choices that you choose and the choices you make. Your life, your choice means it's my life. I decide what I want to do with my life. I decide the choices, the consequences. Basically, I'm the one who owns my life. It's your decision on what you want to do in life. What's, the choices you make is what's going to affect you later on in life. My life, my choice means that the choices that I make today impact my career, my job, my family, everything along down the road for me. There is a way and means of stopping either violence or arriving alive at uh, your destination by merely staying away from texting or distracting. Um, texting can cause an individual to be worse than a drunk driver by six times, or a factor of six. Um, we hope that the individuals will take heed to our message, um, drive safely, do not use uh, devices that will cause them to be distracted, arrive safely at their destinations, and that way they prevent injuries that their family or friends or loved ones in general will not have to deal with. The goal of this year's event was to impact the San Antonio community and some of the at-risk youth that we know live here to leave a lasting impression so that these students not only know that trauma surgeons and trauma staff care about them, but their community cares about them and that we all can come together to help them teach good behaviors to make good decisions.